In this example, we're comparing the derivatives of two functions that at first glance look really similar. So I have h of x is the sine of x, all raised to the third power. Um, just incidentally, that could also be written as sine cubed x. It means the same thing. And then I have g of x equals the sine of the quantity x cubed. So these things sort of symbolically look very similar, but they're really much different functions. So each is going to require the chain rule because I have a function of a function. H prime, well, the outer function is the cubing function, and the inner function is the sine function. So I differentiate sine, sine of x cubed with respect to sine of x, treating it as a single variable. So it's just, I'm looking at it sort of like a y cubed and differentiating with respect to y. Well, that's just 3y squared or 3 sine squared x. And then the chain rule says I now have to tack on the derivative of the interior with respect to x, which is cosine x. All right, so there's h prime. And then g prime, the outer function is the sine function, and the inner function is x cubed. So I'm going to differentiate the sine function with respect to x cubed as if x cubed is just a single thing. You could think of it like a y. And the derivative of the sine y with respect to y is just cosine y. So we start out with cosine of x cubed. And then the chain rule says you've got to tack on the derivative of the argument with respect to x. So the derivative of the interior with respect to x, which is 3x squared. It's probably a little more polite to write this one with the 3x squared on in front. And we're done.